Hello, everyone. It's uh, 2024. We've uh, already had the JP Morgan conference, and this is the, the yearly conference in San Francisco where all the investors and biotechs and startups come together to talk about uh, potential deals they can do and acquisitions that are possible. Um, so we're well into the year, and I think the general attitude, also reflecting on what I've heard at JP Morgan, uh, is, uh, is positive. So I think. Uh, people expect more funding will be available to run more trials, which hopefully will help us help us get um, more life-saving drugs and devices uh, to the market. Um, there's also the expectation that there will be more M&A activity, so mergers and acquisitions, means meaning big companies buying smaller companies or uh, big financial private equity firms buying up um, smaller companies. And uh, we actually saw Science 37, uh, pretty famous in our space, uh, get taken private. You can read all about the deal, deal, deal details online. Uh, they were taken private and um, they uh, are going to have uh, a new path ahead of them. And that's probably the first of, uh, of many. Uh, it's also going to be a busy year for Caster. We have a, um, a very elaborate roadmap with a strong focus on uh, the participant in the clinical trial and uh, generally reducing site burden. Uh, we have a lot of events coming up and I just want to notify you of a few uh, events that we have coming up where we'd love to uh, we'd love to see you. So first up is uh, Scope in Orlando and that's February 11th to 14th. We'll be at booth 222. And then after that in March, March 3 to 5, we're at ACDM in Copenhagen. So that's Europe. Um, and we have a three-part webinar series coming up, which is all going to be about ePro. And the first one is going to be about ePro and cancer research and really measuring the true patient experience. Um, why should quality of life insurance be conducted through ePro at the patient's home instead of doing it at the site? A uh, critical element. Um, how do we implement it in the best way? How many time points do we need to measure? Why is measuring once every three months for quality of life not the right way to do it? Um, and how do we also leverage flexibility uh, in ePro and ECOA tooling to actually be able to adapt to the clinical trial and to new findings that emerge? So it's going to be a very interesting webinar. And then we have two other webinars coming on, uh, on ePro. And uh, yeah, we'd love to welcome you to all of those. So please visit our website or our LinkedIn to learn more about those webinars. Um, and uh, if you're at any of these events, either Scope or ACDM, by all means, please stop by our booth for, uh, for a chat. Um, that's it for now. See you next month. <laughs>